quite an impressive list of composers. And the writing pieces for middle school bands. Michael Colgrass offered insight into his experience of composing his piece in this project. I mean, what the, what the uh, American Composer Forum did is they matched a composer with a school system, and the, the, the two worked together in the, the writing of the piece, and it was all put on videotape, and this is now being developed into, obviously, a score, a set of parts, a curriculum, a CD-ROM uh, edition, which is phenomenal. Um, but here's what Michael Colgrass said about his work on this. Quote, it struck me that Haydn, Mozart, and Beethoven wrote a lot of simple music for amateurs without dumbing it down. Question, am I good enough composer to write a simple theme that can be genu genuinely exciting the way the great masters did? Well, this project was the most humbling of any I've ever had as a composer. I think writing for kids should be a required project. It required in university composition programs. Writing for eighth grade band is like walking in four pound shoes. If you can do it gracefully uh, with that weight on your feet, you'll fly when you put on the four ounce runners. Uh, it is very challenging. But it seems to me that this is a very, very, a wonderful uh, project. If you go downstairs to booth, booth 8092, the American Composers Forum has got a booth down there, and they have some of these pieces there with the CD-ROM, which you might want to look at. Besides the challenge of finding music for elementary and middle school, much of the literature composed, published, and performed by high school bands today emphasize the commercial and popular elements of American society, television, theme music, movie theme music, rock music, and so on. Students consume this kind of music in their out-of-school lives. Music education should help them expand their musical understanding, knowledge, and experience, thus opening doors that will allow them to appreciate other kinds of music, more complex music. Education in all areas of the curriculum should assist students in expanding their knowledge, expanding the range of their experiences, and stimulate their desire to explore new things, including music. In other words, don't take that away from them. If the kid appreciates popular music, and they do, that's great. But education should allow them to continue that but expand it so they can love more things. I mean, the kids that can love Bach and Beethoven and Stravinsky and rock has a, can love more things and get more out of life, and the kids can only just develop or love one of those. Education has always been about expanding a person's ability to know and to appreciate the world he lives in and the things that have been created in that world by other people. That's what the music program ought to do. It should not dig the well deeper. It should expand it. Sadly, much of the best-selling original concert band music is quite contrived and calculated to make the band sound good. Band libraries are filled with the best sellers of the day advertised by publishers as band masterpieces. Often they are performed once and then either filed away or discarded. Composer Francis Macbeth calls this type of music paper plate music. Music used once and then thrown away. Rehearsals and performances of low quality music offer few, few opportunities for students to develop significant basic musicianship skills and deeper understanding and appreciation of the musical art. Alan Britton, past president of MEMC, in an essay, called American Music Education. Is it better than we think? A discussion of the role of performance and repertory together with brief mentions of certain other problems. How do you like that for a title? But he observes in it, we learn to play in order to learn repertory. Playing is fun, but playing remains only fun unless we play something worth playing. If you go to Florence, 
go in the museum there and you see this magnificent statue of David created by Michelangelo. It's beautiful. Beautiful form. Beautiful, you know, uh, recreation of the human body. And of course we, 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 we respect it and appreciate it not only because of its form, from its, its exterior, but also because of the Carrara mar marble that it's made of. Now my question is, if they substituted, and in place of that, they had a David that looked exactly like it did from the outside, but it was made of horse manure, would you still like it? You gotta find out, it's got to have content. The content is the issue, people, and that's what you have to discover. And if a piece does not have quality content, you only can teach superficial things. School band directors must make qualitative value judgments concerning the literature they select, rehearse, and perform and commission the best composers, not music writers, to write music for school bands and wind ensembles. In summary, a long range objective of music education programs should be expansion of the student's awareness and appreciation of great musical art. Other objectives, developing high musical taste and values. Three, developing musical skills and knowledge. Four, developing technical skills on an instrument. Five, developing collaborative music making skills. Six, developing expressive and creative skills. Seven, developing sensitivity to sound and gesture. These are priority long range objectives of a music education band program curriculum. As I mentioned in my earlier presentation today, the teachers, band directors, musical taste and values are the major factor in the consideration of repertoire. What are the important things to consider? Select music that is inspired. Determine if the composer was moved or motivated by some person, event, object to write the piece. Is the composer attempting to express feeling, passion, for or about something or someone? Does the music have an expressive musical message? Two, select music that is interesting. That is, music that is imaginative in the development of some or all of its music elements, melody, melody, harmony, texture, rhythm, form. The music should provide opportunities for teaching musical concepts about form and construction. Three, individual parts should be as interesting as possible. Students like to play pieces that allow everyone to be part of the action. Tubas like to play melodies as well as bass lines. French horns like to play more than offbeats. Choose music that will help each student grow technically. Now you can't do that in one piece, but when you pick out your repertoire for the year, make sure you look over all the parts and make sure everybody has got something that will challenge them and will help them grow into things they need to grow in. For a select, select music that fits the instrumentation of the ensemble. However, if a conductor wants to perform an excellent work with students and requires an instrument or two, uh, that is lacking, substitute a reasonable alternative instrument and perform the piece. I can remember the first time I invited Fred Fennell to come down to guest conduct my band in Ithaca, New York. Uh, we, we had prepared a couple movements of the Mozart Serenade Number no. 10. 